Welcome back cloud enthusiasts. Modern applications most often have a decoupled front end. Built using frameworks like Angular, React.js or other similar technologies. These websites are loaded in your browser and usually interact with backend via API calls. In this video, we will demonstrate how to provision a simple web hosting infrastructure in AWS using AWS CDK. All right, so let's get started. First, we will create a directory for our project and initialize a sample CDK project and load it in our favorite IDE. We will skim through the areas that we have already explored in detail in previous videos. Now that we have the project loaded, we can go to our stack and create an encrypted S3 bucket as we did in our previous examples. We will synthesize and inspect the CloudFormation template to make sure we have a bucket and it is encrypted. Now we can go ahead and deploy this app to our AWS account. Now let's create a reference to our bucket that we will use later in another construct CFN output to output some details about the bucket once it is deployed. CFN output construct has a property named value where we can provide whatever value we want displayed. In our example, let's output the name of the bucket for now. Let's deploy and verify if the bucket name is shown in the output. We can also check the bucket in the S3 console by searching for the bucket name and making sure the bucket exists and is currently empty. Next, we'll go ahead and create site content directory, which will contain all the files necessary for our website. Two of the required files are index.html, that will be the entry point for our application, whereas the other is error.html, that will be returned when there is an error. Let's go ahead and add some text to our index.html file, as well as to our error.html file, we can display an error. Now we can go ahead and name our bucket. In this case, we can name it cloudenthusiasts.academy, which is our domain name. Next, we can explore some properties that will be required for using the bucket as a website. One such property is public read access. So we will introduce that in our bucket construct. We want to make the buckets publicly accessible so that anyone accessing our website should be able to read and access the contents. Now, because we have our code in version control system, we can safely destroy our bucket when the stack is deleted. To use the bucket as a website, we have to add a couple other properties. One is website error document that will point to our error.html file. Whereas the other is website index document that will point to our index.html file. Now that we have our bucket configured as website, we can go ahead and output the bucket website URL. After we deploy the stack, and go to the bucket website URL, we will encounter 404. The reason being that our bucket is still empty. There are no files in the bucket that can be accessed by the browser. In order to fix this issue, we have to copy our site content to the bucket. We can do it easily by using bucket deployment construct, which takes the website content as source and we can provide our bucket as the destination of this content. Bucket deployment construct pretty much copies the files from our local directory to the S3 bucket when we deploy the SDK stack. Upon successful deployment, 
Now we refresh the page, we will see the content from index.html file. Next, let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to modify the site content and using CDK deploy, have it reflected on your website. Let's go ahead and modify the content by adding an image directory and our logo. Add an image tag to the index.html page to render our logo. After deploying the stack and refreshing the page, we will be able to see Cloud Enthusiast's logo. Another cool thing I would like to show is the CDK-Dial library that takes our CloudFormation template as input and generates an architecture diagram based on the resources in our template. So let's add CDK Dia as a dependency and install it. Once installed, we can run npx cdk dia command to generate an image containing the architectural diagram. Let's open the diagram and inspect the architecture. We will see that the architecture only consists of a bucket, along with the lambda responsible for bucket deployment. Although in this video we have demonstrated how to create a simple website, this website does not follow all the best practices. For production use, you would have to create a CloudFront distribution for caching your site content and reducing latency. You would have to use your own domain name, SSL certificates tied to that domain, and also have to introduce CloudWatch alerts for things like certificate expiration notifications, log metrics, observability, and so forth. This concludes our video on static website hosting in AWS. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.